yes, I did sell and gave away 95% of what I owned. <laughs> and I'll tell you about it. It was very liberating and um, not easy whatsoever. It wasn't so hard to leave the country and start traveling around the world and trying out different countries. What was hard <laughs> was selling my stuff and letting go of all of those things that I loved and clutter I didn't love, but things I needed to let go of. Um, a lot of which I really did like. But I'll tell you how to do it. Um, it's going to take a lot of time and I did it myself. I sold everything, I listed things, I gave things away, and I was working in my business. So, you know, I've seen these uh, videos on YouTube of people that didn't have to work while they were <laughs> selling everything, or they were a couple and they could share duties. Um, but I'm coming from the perspective of doing it on your own without any help. Things will happen that will move you along into doing this um, whole thing of selling and giving things away and starting over. And what I mean by these things will happen, um, I met amazing people that would come and get my stuff and pay me. And I can't think of one bad experience I had. I, the only thing was when people would say they were coming and they wouldn't show up. That was the most frustrating about it. I sold everything on Craigslist. This, this was before Facebook Marketplace. Um, so there was no kind of, um, you couldn't look up their profile, find out who they were. Anyway, every single person on Craigslist was great. And, um, they all were excited for me selling everything I owned and going off into the unknown and not knowing when I was going to come back. Um, because I was traveling, I was trying out different countries and thinking one might become my home base, but not being sure about it. So I knew there were some countries I was going to try um, after selling everything. But I encourage you to do it if you feel like you want to. I had a lot of anxiety about it. I was in India when I decided that I was going to come back and not rent out my place anymore, sell everything that I had, because I really wanted to keep going on this never-ending journey around the world and having these amazing experiences and meeting remarkable people. So I came back and I started selling things and little by little everything went. Some things made me cry <laughs> about letting them go. Other things I let go easily and still, let's see, so I guess I kept about 5% of what I owned in storage, a very small storage, five by 10. Things like something from my grandmother, dishes or just something I just couldn't let go of. Memories mostly and slides in my film archive. So there's going to be things you can't let go of, but a lot of things you can let go of that you'd be surprised that you can let go of, but it is a pain to go through because you have to touch every single thing that you own and decide what to do with it. That is a real process and can make you not sleep very well at night. <laughs> but one of the gifts was people that bought things were really happy to get these treasures. Um, thank you, Lauren, for buying my framed, uh, it was for my first exhibition, I did black and white nudes and they were very beautifully framed and very tasteful. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this one. Um, but Lauren bought it. Thank you. 
I'm happy she did. I think she gave it to her dad as a gift, a photograph. So archival silver gelatin. You'll be surprised. I'm on my Oregon road trip, so I'm speaking to you from my fun van. Um, being the CEO of fun. So listen, you can do it, but it's not easy. Um, if you can set aside time without working, you're, that's going to be a gift to yourself because it's still hard. Doing it all by yourself, um, I did it. And I have no regrets about it. I feel that it was a very purifying experience to let go of almost all of my belongings because you do get attached to your stuff and you know you can almost get too anchored by it and once you let it all go it's a very freeing feeling so if you have any questions about uh, considering this yourself I'd be happy to answer them here on YouTube because um, I think a lot of people think about doing it and then it feels so daunting that it doesn't happen. And it is daunting, I'm not going to lie. It is something. But once you've done it, you can be free in a different kind of way by letting go all of your letting go of everything and it's it's honestly a spiritual experience and if you're having the feeling to do it and you need a little push write me make a comment and I'll support you and I think if you have the feeling to do it that means you it's time to do it <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video